it's Tracy here, Retire Your Hubby TV show and podcast. So, so excited. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I am excited, maybe I'm not. I wanted to talk about something that a lot of us do and we don't realise. We do this self-talk. So we talk ourselves out of doing stuff, but we can talk ourselves into doing stuff. And right at the moment, I was procrastinating like nobody's business to actually start recording. Start recording episodes, start recording everything. And also look at different images that I can use. And I'm like, it just felt like a weight was going on me. But you know what? I looked at my clothes and I looked, it's a beautiful sunny day, but I also looked at all the different jewelry I've got. I can't wear my earrings because I can't see them in this. And I went, I've got some really cool pieces that I can I can do. And then I started putting my makeup on and I started putting my lippy on, got my really cool new glasses and I felt so good. So I just wanted to like get in here, shake it all up. So we do our shaky, 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 shake it all up and just make sure that we're, we're doing stuff. And it could be just for us, like I self-cared and I went and had a massage and I, oh man, did that feel good. So it might just be those little things that you're doing to stop your procrastination. And I've got a, a book on that, which I'm going to put below, but I wanted to really get in here and just let it all out because I know that we're all feeling that. And it, it could be that there's a change in the weather. It could be, you know, the, the stuff that's going on around the world that's like interrupting us or making us feel crap. Um, it could be the kids are just annoying us today or the dog is like, you know, like tear, torn up the best curtains or the cats have ripped up something. It doesn't matter. We just need to go, that's okay. Stuff happens. It's okay with this stuff happening. And it's just looking at the different things that you're saying to yourself. I mean, I used to be my own worst enemy. And I still am in a lot of ways, that self-talk and that self-doubt all the time. And we need to acknowledge that it's there. We need to understand that, you know, we're going to have those procrastination days or the days that we want to stay under the doona and not beat ourselves up because of it. And that's okay. Because it took me a long, long time to realize that we can have those days and not feel guilty about it. Because I always used to go, oh no, I haven't done what I said I'd do. And I'd start feeling guilty. Now I don't feel guilty. I just go, well, I'm going with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And I think that if we acknowledge that and we sort of take it on board and, and look at it as a way that we can learn something from it, that will be much more beneficial than we keep kicking ourselves in the guts. Well, you know, my guts is big enough, but that's not the point. It's that, and I diverge, uh, you know, going off track here. I hope that helps. I hope it really makes sense and it really makes you want to be that better person for you, not for anyone else, but for you, for you to shine, for you to be, be in the moment with every decision that you're making, be looking at everything that you're doing and and acknowledging some of the struggles you might have with doing some of these tasks like I was speaking to one of my clients and she's an introvert and or one of my members sorry and she's an introvert and I go that's okay you don't have to do your business like loud and and nutty like I am you can do your business in a much different way to to you know, the Tracy, the way Tracy does it. Because a lot of people in direct marketing 
are not extroverts. A lot of them are introverts and they're very successful at what they do. They just do it in a different way. They build up relationships more on that one-to-one -one basis, whereas, you know, I thrive in a crowd. They would like the, the low-key, noiseless environment, whereas crazy, 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 busy, 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 busy. I love the noise. I love the busyness. I love everything about that. And that's okay too. But I still have my slow days. I still have my wanting to um, have quiet time. And we all deserve that. So have a think about the ahas that you might pick up from what I'm what I'm saying in this, this episode and also what you think that you could use as your wow moment in your business in the next within the ne next week that you could do something completely different in your business that'll help you. I've also put a link to booking in a session with me and I'd really love for you to do that so that you can know that I'm on your side. EDSA is here and we really want to help you. Bye.